Hello, my dear fellow developers. In the last video, we created our login and register pages for our application, but our API uh, still is not protected and we can make requests uh, without any tokens and we will get response. So in this video, I will show how to fix that, how to add authorization, uh, how to make our API private. With uh, AWS Cognito, it's uh, very easy and it takes literally a few lines in your serverless file. So uh, here under the provider, we want to add our uh, HTTP API and to configure it, we want to add authorizers. Let's call our authorizer I don't know, user authorizer. And uh, here we're gonna add a few parameters to it. Uh, first one is identity source. So identity source um, is gonna be our request header authorization uh, so our um, our token we will pass in this header in header authorization that's what it means then uh, issuer URL uh, this it's gonna be it's gonna be a URL of our uh, user pool we will define it the following way we're gonna use a function join and then in this function we pass we pass an array and in this array uh, we are passing the URL to uh, Cognito uh, with, we can just go to our AWS console and then we go to Cognito and that's our user pool and what we need, we need a link. Maybe it's in the properties. Okay, let's use Google. AWS console, find issuer URL, cognito. I tried to dig into AWS documentation to find uh, something to explain uh, where uh, we get this issue URL and how to find it, uh, but uh, there were no there was no success, there was no success, and I found an answer only on Stack Overflow. So here, you can see how to get this issue URL uh, having your uh, user pool. So let's try to do it. We have this URL, so we copy it. And we need to replace this with our um, with our pool ID. Uh, you see, I haven't tried to switch to old interface, hoping that I will find this link, this issue URL. But unfortunately, no, it didn't work. So let's use the Stack Overflow method. I'll zoom a little bit. So if you replace this with your pool ID, you will get this JSON and uh, you need this value issuer. So you need to copy this link and paste it to your serverless file. But we will do a bit different. We will replace this, this part. We will just add We'll just add this reference because this reference will point to the same ID as here. So uh, to avoid hard code, we will use it this way. So that's our issuer URL. And the last thing we need in our authorizer is uh, audience.
and it's going to be our user client. Simple and beautiful. So now when we have this authorizer, uh, we can just uh, add it to every endpoint that you want to be private. So let's uh, go to our functions. So you see our functions, events, HTTP API. And here in HTTP API, we can just add an authorizer and uh, we don't want our register and login to be private. We want them to stay public, but let's say we don't want unauthorized users to save photos. So we will add here authorizer and just pass the name of our uh, user it was user authorizer here and now we can just copy paste and add it to every to every function every api function in our serverless that we want to be protected Perfect. And uh, now uh, we can deploy it and try with Postman, try to get our photos, for example. Because now if you just go here and change to the get, not here, but let's, let's copy our, um, our deployed path. So now before we deploy it, our changes, we can just go here and get all the pictures that we don't have pictures now, but anyway, we're getting the response. Uh, but let's deploy and see what will change. And it complains on the duplicated HTTP API, maybe because I already, yes, I already added it here. So let's delete this one and let's add course here so to avoid duplications and let's try to deploy again what it doesn't like property authorizers oh yes i made a typo authorizers let's try again so our application deployed and let's try again to get our photos without a token and we're getting an error. We're getting a uh, 401 status and message unauthorized because our application expects us to pass a token. And if we do, let's say, if we switch here to login and to post, and then we try to login, we're getting our uh, access token uh, let's just copy it, can't really see where it starts and where it ends, so I guess that's it. So we're copy, copying our access token and then we go to our authorization, we can add this bearer token and we can paste our token here and now let's again switch to our get photos and try to send the request and as you see with token we can get the response so that's it we made our private routes and in the next video i will show you how to uh, make private routes on our front end how to uh, restrict some pages in our client application uh, from showing to a user who is not authorized and we will add our token and our authorization he header on the front end to all our requests. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, follow along, watch the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.